What year was that? Oh, Dave's not here. We looked it up before. Hold on. So I know you guys are efficient with like, Google search operations on like. It was 1962, if you needed to know. Okay. That. The United States uh, sent up, you know, missiles, yep. and it, it, I think it was water, but you could say whatever you want, sent us. What were the other ones? Operation Fishbowl, and then there was... Fishbowl and Dominic. And there was another one. Uh, Operation... Um, well, that's high jump, but uh, in terms of that test, the nuclear... Yeah, I know, I know, but I want to add the other ones, because Dominic's going to... You're going to... This is going to blow your mind. Fishbowl of the Lord, yeah. Yeah, anyway. All right, Fishbowl. I'll just, I'll just have, add that one. Okay. Yeah, you can do whatever, say whatever you want. Here we go. Okay. Why would they? Why would they shoot those up there? And then why would it hit something, right? So just explain, because I'm going to be showing the footage. Yeah. So okay, in 1962, the U.S. Um, space uh, military, military or the uh, the space um, agency, agency mm -hmm. um, they op they uh, did a, an operation called Operation Dominic. Now, Dominic means dome. And what they were shooting for was the dome. They know there's a firmament up in the heavens. They know this. And they were trying to break through it or test it. Uh, acquire scientific data and knowledge, information about it. Hence the name Dominic, because they know that it is the dome. Same with Operation Fishbowl. Yeah, the fishbowl, it's a fishbowl, the firmament. Uh, on the second day of creation, God created the firmament. I don't think it's disappeared, dear friends. I think it's still there. And the 1962 uh, Operation Dominic confirms it. And you think about the waters above, you want to hit real quick, just a basic yeah. analogy? Anything you want to talk about in the waters above, then we'll move on. Okay, so the waters above, the Bible speaks about the waters above and the waters below. When you look at the blue sky, everything's hydrogen. So whatever else is mixed with that dome, it's, it's partially or mostly hydrogen. Saturn is hydrogen, the sun is hydrogen, Jupiter is hydrogen, the list goes on and on and on. So the waters above are called in ancient astronomy, which was the same science as astrology, except one was more theological and one was more secular, they taught that this was called the Crystalline Sea. And in the book of Revelation, it speaks about the Crystalline Sea. It's the ninth heaven. Above that heaven is another sphere surrounding our toroidal Earth model called the Primum Mobile. And outside of that is the Empyrean, where the blessed souls dwell with God for all eternity. And the primum mobile, meaning the first motion, that's the first outer layer of the Taurus field. Then the crystalline sea, nine. Then the starry heavens with Uranus in it, which is the firmament. The firmament is number eight. And then there are seven more spheres, which we know as the wandering stars or the planets. Starting with Saturn at the top, then Jupiter, Mars, Sun in the middle, Venus, Mercury, Moon, and then our Earth. Dante spoke about it in the Divine Comedy. Ptolemy, before Copernicus ever hit the scene, spoke of exactly of this model. The Hebrews, the Hindus, the Mayans, the Aztec calendar is all about our 10 Russian doll type onion layers of 10 spheres of a toroidal field surrounding our plane of inertia, planet of Earth, the Earth. Planet means plane, and the T means terra. Plane terra. They shortened it to planet. It's a plane. Do your etymology. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Um, and uh, just to touch on that one last thing, in your opinion, what's holding the waters above from coming down? What's holding Does it the, come down with these downpours? Yes. They might, they yes. might feel that way. Okay. Yeah, well, however you want to, I mean, yeah. if it's water above, what's going on with it? And why isn't it coming down? Or does it come down at times? Or how do you feel about that? The reason the waters from the crystalline sea, the ninth sphere, don't 
come gushing down um, is because of the firmament. It's firm. See, we have a firmament up here and we have terra firma down below. Everything is firm, which means still or rather um, durable. So, but every now and then cracks form within the magnetic field of the firmament in which waters do gush through and floods have happened. Every culture, every uh, tradition, ancient, every nation has myths about floods. You know, the Egyptians said to the Greeks, oh, you Greeks, you have so little knowledge. You talk about the flood. There's, there've been many floods on this earth. And then uh, two more really easy ones. Explain to global leaders what a rocket launch is and where they go. So, so when they launch rockets in Cape Canaveral, Florida, or in uh, Houston, Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, the problem is you can't get past the firmament. I mean, Neil uh, disgraced Tyson and Bill Nye, the liar guy, uh, even they um, say that. So that's what the reason why these rockets go up like this and then they go horizontal and then they disappear. Yes, because that's our vision can't see that they've just landed in the ocean because you can't go out into space. And the last one, um, on that topic, I don't know if you've noticed SpaceX the last couple of years, but they're showing off with their uh, rockets and technology. They, in me and Dave's opinions at least, they, they're going up now and they're scraping the firmament and they're sending ripples out of the rocket ships and it looks like, because I've seen it with my own eyes before, it looks like they're surfing on the water above and it's giving the ocean tides. Yep. Have you seen that yet? Yeah, the SpaceX? Cool. Yep. Dude, it's blowing my mind that they're scraping the ocean above yeah. and everybody can see water above them yeah. and everybody's like, they're going to space. If you want to just touch on anything SpaceX, scraping the water, anything like that, because I'm going to be showing a lot of those rocket launches scraping the firmament there. Anything you want to touch on, yeah. it's up to you. And why is it that um, when some uh, spacecraft do actually hit the firmament, um, you see what resembles uh, a, a speedboat going through water? You'll see the rocket hit the firmament, explode like watery, and then it will skim along the surface of the firmament and skim and skim and skim and skim, like leaving a trail just like a speedboat leaves. Why is that? Well, because it's hydrogen. It's water. Yeah. All right, we're, we're wrapped on my questions. Good one, man. And we can do your set now or later or whenever you want to. Yeah, we can go up. It's up to you. Yeah, let's do it. Cool.